It's David from Site3D here, and I'm going to quickly show you the setting out tools in Site3D. So I have a few roads on this design here, and I want to put a coordinate table on the side that annotates the information on this center line over here. To do that, we're going to go to the setting out tools, add a new table, and select the center line. Now I can select practically any design line on the drawing, but in this case, I'm going to choose the road center line. It'll show me centerline specific information that I can configure. So to ask me for what the interval is down the road, so I can change that to say something like five meters. I can show and change what is on the table itself and I can change what's on the plan as well. So by default, it'll be putting the back of design levels on and annotating the changes along the road. And to do that, I'm just gonna click OK and insert this on the side here. So now I have a table inserted on the side of my drawing and for each one of these rows in here, I have information annotated on the plan. This is dynamic, so if I go in and make further changes to the road afterwards, that table will update as well as the on plan information. What we can do is we can do file, save as, and we can export this out to on-site equipment such as total stations. So we have our line to CSV and table to CSV options. Uh, if I choose a table to CSV, I can choose the table on the drawing and it'll then pre-fill out the information on here. So it'll give us the road name by default as the actual file name. So it's quite quick and easy to export. I can also, as I showed before, export out to line to CSV which will allow us to choose practically any design line on the drawing. You do not need a table initially, you can just choose the line on the drawing and export that out as well, and it'll give you the file name in the same way. It'll, it will then ask you for the interval as soon as you click save. Okay, so I'll just add a couple more on just to sort of show you what you can do. So if I choose another road over here, I can choose another center line. I can change the information on here, make that say five interval, five meters again, and put that one on the drawing. And I can also choose other design line options like other center lines, other channels, curbs and footways and things like that, but also ponds. And I can choose this on the drawing. It'll show me the pond relevant information here in this case. Click OK and I can insert that one on the side of my drawing over here. Where we'll end up with the pond annotation shown on the plan. So we'll have our changes, eastings, northings levels, as well as point types with curve radius values and things like that. Thanks for watching.